Hi, my name is Mark Dulick. And I'm Steve Wetzel. We're application engineers for Southwire Company. We're here to demonstrate the installation of the Southwire VFD termination kit. Proper termination of these cables is important because it controls common mode currents, which if left uncontrolled can cause various system problems, including motor damage. Southwire's VFD cable shield termination kit consists of the following components. One constant force spring, one flexible tinned copper braid with a lug attached on one end, two lengths of copper foil adhesive tape, and an instruction guide. The tools we recommend for installing the termination kit are Southwire's long nose pliers, diagonal cutters, electrician scissors, and safety retractable utility knife. Now we're gonna terminate Southwire's copper braid VFD cable. Removal of the jacket is the same as tape sh the tape shield using the constant force spring for a straight edge. You'll make a ring cut at the constant force spring. And then a longitudinal cut along the entire jacket length. Now you can remove the constant force spring. The braid shield is removed a little different. So you want to loosen it up on the cable. Then you'll use scissors to make a slit. We have about two inches of copper braid available to secure the termination braid to. Remove the foil tape. Next, all the fillers can be cut back along with the drain wires that are not needed in the termination. The drain wire is not needed in the termination because the copper braid bonding strap provides adequate transmission of the electricity to not require the bonding strap or the drain wire. The next step is to apply the braid Again, you'll make a 45 degree fold with enough excess to wrap around the cable. Use needle nose pliers to smash it down. <clears throat> Keep that braid termination strap as short as possible. Wrap the braid all the way around the cable. Make a 45 degree cut so the braid does not overlap on itself. This again provides your 360 degree termination and then use the constant force spring to hold down the braid. Wrap the spring in the same direction that you wrapped the braid around the braid shield. Then apply two half lap layers of vinyl electrical tape around the termination. At this point, the termination is complete. And then you'll attach the, the braid to the chassis. Use the lug to provide a large surface area contact for the high frequency information to easily flow back. Terminate the phase and ground conductors as you normally would. Now that completes the termination kit for Southwire's braid shield VFD cable. For more information, contact industrial support at southwire.com.